what it do gang welcome to my channel i'm here with another tutorial on this invisible lock bob and i think i'm gonna do a tutorial every single time i do this style because it's so cool <laughs> and i hope y'all watch every single time okay but um it's very simple very easy you're gonna part out a square and you're gonna split that square in half but i'm so used to doing it like i just know what half a square is so that i don't have to part the square first so right there you're gonna see me part half of the square and i'm gonna clip it so it doesn't unravel and then i'm gonna just part another half um of the square and i'm gonna just twist it in a motion as if you were doing like a retwist on locks on real locks and you just you're really just doing a little motion like you don't have to do too much because it'll kind of wind up like a bantu knot <laughs> if you twist it too much but yeah and then i'm just gonna clip that while i grab my marley hair and i like the thicker twist so i'm gonna use two pieces of the marley hair instead of one piece it's all about how you like it to look but i like the thicker ones so you're gonna use two pieces and i mean if you like thinner ones just use one simple if you want a real thick use three but right here you're just gonna take it and you're gonna attach that to the um to the real hair and you're just gonna do the same motion that you were doing with the regular hair and then you're gonna do the same motion on the other side and make sure you're twisting both hairs in the same direction the regular hair and the marley hair please make sure you're twisting in the same direction because once you start to twist if it's if it's in opposite directions it ain't gonna work <laughs> but yeah you just twist and once you get a good tight grip on it you can see when you got a good grip on it you just literally start twisting like it's so simple because like with cynically you twist you got to kind of twist as you twist but with these it's not really like you kind of got to do it like slightly but it's not like a, a you know like a drastic twisting method it's kind it's more easier because this marley hair is more coarse like that other hair be more too silky so you got to really put the, put, put a little up in it <laughs> but with the marley hair you ain't got to do too much because it's like it's like the texture of natural hair and then here i'm going to create the lock knot i'm just going to measure it i press it up against my client's back and then you're just going to wrap downward and you're just doing it to get the little motion you know get the little knot and then i secure mines with rubber bands some people don't do that but i just it, it just helps me feel better i don't have to worry about nobody like messaging me like look my, my little knot came loose so i ain't gotta worry about that lord <laughs> i be trying to hide and record but my son just always want to be loud in the background i'm sorry y'all should be used to him by now but yeah i'm going to demonstrate another one for you so you're trying to create a square so you're basically going to part out a half a square and if you got scenes, you know what half a square is. <laughs> half a rectangle, whatever. You get what I'm saying? So you're going to add your product. You're going to do like a slight flat twist motion. And this is the easiest method to me because the other methods, I mean, they work. But it's like, it's, it's a little too much work. Like doing a little braid underneath and all that. I feel like that's just a little extra. I'm going to try it, but I, I feel like that's extra. I feel like this is it's the same thing. Like it's no need for all that. But if you don't have if you don't know how to do that twisting motion, I guess it makes it easier. But yeah, you're gonna part half of one square, you're gonna part half of the other side, and then you just gonna twist, 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 and you're gonna grab two pieces of that Marley hair. Like I said, this is for the thicker twist. If you don't want them too thick, use one. And if you want them thicker, use three. I don't know about four now. It might be a dookie twist. <laughs> but yeah, the same motion you was doing with the hair. With the real hair, you're going to do that with the Marley hair. It's, it's literally like common sense. <laughs> I feel like this is a very beginner-friendly hairstyle because it's not too much to it. But you just got to keep a good grip. That's the main thing. Keep that good grip because this is a twist. You can't play around when it comes to no twist now because... The, the the moment you let go that oh i already cuss i don't think i'm gonna cuss but the moment you let go it's gonna unravel and you don't want that so you're just gonna keep that motion in the ocean and you're just gonna twist 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 and i've seen some people they don't really twist all the way to the bottom like where they do the knot they'll stop twisting and just wrap their hair up but i just don't really like the way that looks like it just looks undone so yeah i twist mine all the way to the end and then i come back and i do my knot this is just my preference once again and i'm gonna measure it and pull it up oh, oh y'all see me fucking up <laughs> measure it pull it up and wrap it downwards as far as you can go 
and then you're just gonna secure that in with a rubber band and i do feel like it'll stay by itself but like i said i ain't taking no chances i ain't got time for nobody to come all the way to my house for me to fix it mm -mm. Mm -mm. we just gonna secure it so you could be good and you ain't gotta worry about nothing okay look at it oh look at that they're so cute i love it i love it i love it Okay, so right here we're going to do a little close-up action. A little close-up action so y'all can see it a close-up. <laughs> so like I said, you're going to probably have a square. Make sure that part nice and crispy because you want that shit to look like a fresh retwist. You feel me? Like, you want people to see your client and be like, dang, girl, I ain't know you had locks. <laughs> Baby, these ain't locks. <laughs> it's just a hairstyle. But you're going to twist. And like I said, twist it in the same direction. Some people go left. Some people go right. But I do my twist um, going right. I am about to say right word. That's not even a, a freaking word. <laughs> anyway, I twist my twist to the right. Okay. Take your product. Do that little twist. All right. All right. And I, instead of me clipping it, I just tucked it. So it wouldn't unravel. And I'm going to take my two pieces of Morley hair. And you're just going to do that same motion that you was doing with the regular hair. You're going to do it with the Morley hair in your hand and the regular hair in your hand. Literally. That's it. That's it. That's all. Okay. And then you're going to twist that other side in the same direction. Like... I really be hoping people like learn something from these tutorials because the stuff be easy. Of course, it's easy to me, but it might not be as easy to somebody else. So I try to make my tutorials as easy and be be <laughs> burger, easy and beginner friendly because I want us all to win. OK, even if you don't do hair, shoot, go grab your little sister or your little cousin or somebody and go get some Marley hair and do this and see how it go. You ain't got to do them this small. You can do them bigger okay stop playing this is very easy very simple very cute and it didn't even take me long i think it took me hmm maybe like three hours i don't know six came at three yeah it might have been like two hours and 45 or three i don't know it ain't take long though <laughs> measure it push it up again i push it up against the back because the twist is kind of lightweight and i feel like that's just give it you know that's gonna make sure that is equal because if you just hold it out and then you lay it flat, it might not be equivalent. <laughs> it might not be equivalent to the other ones. And you want them kind of all to be around the same length to give it that effect. Okay. And this is almost done. Got two more rows left. Look at that cute. And this is the end result. Oh my God. <laughs> It's so pretty. Like, when I be taking pictures, I be smiling like, yeah, I know my clients are thinking I'm crazy, but I just be like, wow, like, this shit is cute, okay? Mm-mm, you ain't got to get nobody else to do it. I can do it, okay? Look at it. Oh, stop playing with Nene. It's amazing what these hands do. Hands can do, like, shout out to God for giving me this talent, because I'm telling you, I love it. I be obsessed, like... I'll be like, dang, girl, you really did that? Yeah, things like that. That. Okay, guys, I'm about to go. So thank you for watching. And I hope if you try this that you get it, okay? And tag me. <laughs>